welcome Capricorns let's see what March has to bring in for you guys okay I'm still doing my house my house is still a mess they're still um, doing construction in my house so um, yes <laughs> I'm kind of deep doing this until the construction is finished I really need to just get done I live in this house for 20 years and uh, I really need you to get um, this done all right uh, sometimes you need to clear up and change the frequency and energy in your house all right welcome Capricorns uh, um, let's see what's going to be coming in and happening for you Capricorns in the month of uh, um, March 2024 um, remember this year is a year for an infinity so that's kind of good um, depends on where Jupiter is in your birth chart um, you can check that out if Jupiter is in a positive energy of the second house in your birth chart remember that's going to be good all right um, three of swords fell out three of swords and uh, um, three of swords and the seven of swords some sort of a deceptiveness it fell out like this heartbreaks and some sort of a deceptiveness um what is this all about we're going to be checking it out but um the three of swords and the seven of swords is never good it's about heartbreaks it's about deceptiveness it's about um things people situation dishonesty that sort of a situation and it's going to be coming out so if people were doing this against you in the month of march it's going to be coming out if people were gossiping lying you're going to be finding out these could be people that you were connected to and you thought that you have a good rapport it is all going to be coming out because whatever they were doing behind the scenes is going to be coming out in March and you are going to be very very happy because the truth is going to be coming out so you know if people were um, sidelining you by um, pretending this is all going to be coming out because some sort of a communication is going to be coming out you will be heartbroken but you're going to be getting over this very easily because you're going to be happy that it came out okay so oh yes so you know it's like I don't need um, this uh, so I'm just gonna close myself off uh, this is a uh, what the si situation by inner strength you're going to be thinking well I know you know it was not what it seems to be so um, that is going to be coming out and could affect in some of you Capricorns all right let's go in and check out the houses and see um, what is going to be coming out in the houses now in the first week we have the eight of swords um, if you were blindfolded to something in the first week of March it's going to be coming out okay um, so that is going to be good um, yes you're going to be seeing the truth about the situation whatever the situation is whoever was pulling the wool over your eyes um, you is going to be clear and plain to you what is happening okay so you have the energy of the night of this they're recognizing that the night of this the night of this is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man or woman um, this is the night so it's a man they now recognize that this man could have access data and information that he should not have access they're going to be recognizing who this man is and that this man has access some sort of a data and information that was not supposed to be accessed or this man had lied okay so the eight of swords is always about communication it's all always about data it's always about communication whatever and whoever this man is and whatever this man has done the truth is now coming out they're recognizing that this man could have um, created some sort of a drama by not being very honest and this is going to be coming out whoever this man is um, it is coming up it could be a Virgo Whoever this man is, is, is uh, for some of you, it could be a Virgo, but it's a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person, okay? All right, let's look at the second week. The second week, some sort of an offer. Um, if you were waiting on money, um, some sort of an offer, some sort of a truth about money is going to be coming out. Um, that is showing up. The Four of Swords, you're going to be standing your ground and communicating very clearly about something. You're going to be showing up details and information about something or someone um communication is going to be coming out 
Um, if you had a legal suit against a Virgo person, you're going to be winning and winning big, okay? Judgment, this is very positive. This is a very, very positive. Some positive communication and information could be coming out for you, Capricorn. So this is really positive. And this uh, um, communication is in the house of the Capricorns. It's in the 10th house, cause, so it could be about work. It could be about a new career. If you're waiting to hear or get some sort of a news about work or career, it's going to be um, very good. Whatever is going on, if you Capricorns was having to deal with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn man, um, this person was trying to take your luck away from you. Um, they're not going to be finding out and you're going to be winning a lawsuit against this Virgo man. Okay. In the third week, we have the Princess of Wands. Now, this is an Aries Leo or Sagittarian wanted to get some sort of a offer. This person could have a... Um, uh, use you Capricorn in, 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 um, in order to get some sort of a, an apply for something. And they caught the person because they recognize that the data and the information is not for this person. They recognize that this person has used your information and data, whoever this Aries Leo Sagittarian person is, could have access details and information or could have used your data and information. It's going to be coming out. Okay. So the seven of ones, this is really a Leo person. So a lot of you could have been dealing with a Leo person. They're going to be seeing how very dishonest this Leo person is. They're going to be recognizing that this Leo person tried to pull a fast one. Um, this Leo person could have been pre pretending to be you Capricorns, that sort of a thing. Whoever this Leo person is, whether it's your sister, your relatives, your friends or whoever this person is, tried to apply for something using your data and information and they were caught. <clears throat> they were caught. For some of you Capricorns, this Leo person could be connected to a Virgo. Okay. This Virgo could be connected to this Leo person because there is a connection with a, with the energy of the four of swords where this person could have connected to a, um, a, a Virgo man. And they're not going to be recognizing that the data and information that this Leo has is not theirs. And a Virgo man had to um, apply and gave this Leo some sort of information that was for you, Capricorn. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is in reverse for this Leo person. Whoever this Leo person is could be fired from their work or um, if they work in some sort of a institution, corporation, they could be removed from their position for what they have done, okay? Um, it is definitely a Leo person and there is some sort of a legal issue because the truth is coming out about some sort of an application, um, that this person could have made judgment came down against a Virgo person because they recognized that a Virgo person could have accessed some sort of a data or information, gave it to a Leah person, and they're now recognizing how a Leah person got some sort of a work or position and um, that sort of a situation. And it's coming up and it's very, very disturbing. It's a disturbing situation that is going to be coming out because um, I think people are going to be recognizing and seeing the truth of some sort of a devastated situation because this person gets some sort of a documentation and information and a Virgo man has helped this person to give them this data and information. The truth is going to be coming out some sort of a lawsuit. Um, the truth is going to be coming out. If you're dealing with a lawsuit, you Capricorns are going to be winning this lawsuit. Okay. And if you're dealing, you're, you're having a lawsuit have to do with a Leo, or a Virgo, you're going to be winning and winning big because they're going to be recognizing that whoever this uh, um, person is, whatever this person has done, whatever this data this person has uh, access, uh, they're now going to be recognizing that they are not who they say they are. In the fourth week, we have worries, the five of pentacles. Some sort of a financial worries could be coming up, but it's not going to be affecting you, Capricorn. If you are connected with a Leo, if this is your sister, whoever this person is, um, this Leo is now in a serious problem to pay back and repay a whole lot of money, whoever this Leo is, okay? Then we see the energy of the six. So the five of pentacles and the six of pentacles. In the last week, there is going to be a lot of issues coming up surrounding money. Um, for you Capricorns, it's not going to be affecting you Capricorns. It's more about a Cancer and a Leo. Um, if a Cancer and a Leo is, uh, have done something, they're going to be recognizing how much money a Cancer and a Leo 
could have walked away with and they're going to be retrieving this money because they're going to be recognizing this is really dishonest what these two people have done now there is a Virgo person the princess of disc this could be you young Capricorns between the ages of 18 and 45 be aware um, you need to clear a lot of karma with a Pisces person if you are a Capricorn between the age of 18 and 45 you need to clear a lot of karma um, with a um, uh, it can, it, this can be um, a Pisces person, but it is in the house of the karma. Whatever is going on, there is it's, it's that is going to be coming up at the end of the month surrounding financial situation. There is where your money is. Um, a lot of you could be investing and could be um, investing and doing work in your house. Um, there could be a, a, another issue that comes up that is going to be costing you more than you had as anticipated. Okay, so be aware of that. Um, in the and and what is transpiring is that the six of pentacles is in the reverse. Whatever is going on, there could be a Sagittarian and a Leo and a uh, Cancer that had done something, and they are going to be making sure that these people repay the money so it's a leo it's a sagittarian and a cancer um that could have a manif manifest and did something if you're dealing with a scorpion the scorpion has to pay you also back a whole lot of money all right so we see the energy of the two of cups capricorn so there is going to be um a lot of connection with love this is going to be positive for you, Capricorn, in the month of March. Um, the Two of Cups. I see a lot of you Capricorns are like not focusing. Um, Jupiter is in Capricorn. So a lot of you Capricorns, if you had relationship problems, you are going to be the chooser, okay? Or if you had relationship problems that was going on, it is going to be balancing out, okay? But whatever the problem, the issue with you and your partner, it is going to be balancing out. It's as if you decided, hey, I'm not worrying about this. This, uh, you know, this will figure out itself. So love is going to be coming in and whatever that uh, um, relationship problems that you were having, um, it, it's going to be over. It's going to be over and... Uh, you are going to be ending up being happy with this person. You know, if you were worried about the relationship, worried about someone, whether or not they care about you, um, you're going to be finding out. And this is like if you're living with someone or you're going to be starting a new relationship with someone, it's going to be working out in your favor. Capricorn, Jupiter is in Capricorn with the love. Okay. So um, this is very positive. Um, This is uh, um really uh what this month is about uh, for a lot of you capricorns a lot of you capricorns um it's, it's as if you're you could be finding out something um the eye princess in the reverse finding out about a lot of money um as someone at a work let's say that you were um dismiss this honorable dismiss from a job they're going to be making sure that they pay you for what they have done okay so like someone could have created some sort of an illusion and you got dismissed from some sort of a job this could be something that happens like a time of like one between a year and five years and they're going to be it's like something is going on in a company that they're going to be relooking at data and information and recognize that you were dismissed this honorable for something that was not true and they're going to be ordering the company to pay you for damages that was done against you okay so um, this is going to be wonderful because it's like the eye princess. It's like something dishonorable happened to some of you Capricorns surrounding a job. You were um dismissed, dishonorable, and they're going to be recognizing that these people lied and created some sort of an illusion. And they are going to be ordering the company to pay you Capricorns for being um very disloyal to you because they should have paid you some sort of a dismissal fee or they should have paid you some sort of a fee and they never paid you this fee okay so indulgence is as if you know you're balancing your emotional 
out whatever is happening whatever is tra transpiring you capricorns are really balancing your emotional out it's like you are no longer on this emotional roller coaster it's like you capricorns are really taking back uh, your powers and when we say taking back your powers you capricorns it's like you know i'm taking back my power you know people are always trying to bring me in this emotional situation no i'm not going to be doing that i'm taking back my powers i'm going to be who i want to be i'm going to um, manage my emotional imbalance and my emotional situation in order that people cannot bring me on their emotional roller coaster okay so um this is going to be good all right let's get deeper in the house and let's see exactly what is transpiring if you're dealing with a Sagittarian, whoever the Sagittarian is, they're going to be recognizing that a Sagittarian person could have access, details and information and apply for something. And this could be applying for someone else's taxes. This could be applying for some sort of a details and information. They're going to be recognizing that someone had used their powers in the wrong way to apply for something that was not using your data and information or applying for something, access your information and data. And they're going to be finding out oh, the Sagittarian woman has done for some of you is a Sagittarian for some of you is a Aries person this person is now in a whole lot of hardship because this person is going to be in financial problems dealing with a whole lot of issue because they have used their powers in the wrong way when we look we are seeing the truth is going to be coming out about friends um, a lot of you are going to be finding out something about your friends and some sort of a legal issue a lot of you are going to be standing your grounds no matter what it is especially if you hold money a lot of you are going to be standing your grounds that the money needs to be repaid and returned to you i see help is going to be coming in if someone had created some sort of a disillusion um, for you capricorn surrounding money uh, money is going to be returning a lot of you who are dealing with some sort of a house situation um where there could have been um someone dealing working in your house but there is going to be extra costs it's going to be coming in but it, you're going to be okay you can you'll be able to cover this whatever legal suit is there whatever legal suit that that comes up you have a big win okay um for you capricorns that is dealing with some sort of a legal issue but this is uh, this is going to be applying to people that um, this honesty or a lot of transition was worked against you they're now seeing a situation now you Taurus Virgo or Capricorn men between the age of 18 and 45 and women you seems to be having some sort of a problem um, with a Virgo person okay so whoever you Capricorns are that is having some sort of an issue with a Virgo person because I see you're going to be standing your ground against a Virgo woman or man you Virg you Capricorns or men or in problems you Capricorn men between the age of 18 and 45 and women between the, 18, the age of 18 and 45 could be coming in some sort of a problem and uh, some sort of an issue where are the major problems the major problems is in um, the house um it's in um the the five the fifth house um and your tent house okay so remember capricorns you govern the tent house tent house is about career business um and that sort of a situation um i see some sort of a communication is going to be coming in um from the knight of swords um what is this all about whoever this the knight of swords is um, some sort of a communication is going to be coming in um, surrounding the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords are always Taurus, Tor um, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran, okay? What should we know about this person? Because whoever this person is and whatever they're coming in with, um, yeah, it's, it, it is a Libran person. Uh-huh. It is a Libran person. If this person, if you are in a relationship with a Libran or you are married to a Libran, um... This person is going to be coming in with some sort of a communication. It is not true. Okay. This person is in the reverse. Whoever this Libran person is, they're in the reverse. They're going to be coming in with some sort of information. If it's your boss or your supervisor, because um, this is the energy of the husband. 
um, whoever this person is, if it's your husband or your boss, the communication and the information that this person is giving to you is not true. Okay. It is a liberal person. Um, this person is a very dishonest person. So if you're in a relationship or married to, to um, this Aquarian, Gemini or Libran, for most of you is going to be a liberal person. If they're your husband or your partner or your boss, this person is very dishonest. The communication that they're bringing in is not going to be true. So um, it is going to be um, a super, super relaxed month, I should say. Um, your major issues is that you're going to be seeing your friends for who they are. So don't be surprised, Capricorns, because whoever your friends are, you're going to be like, uh, um, it's as if you didn't have a veil up, but you just see through these people and recognize that these people are not being honest. Okay, so this month for you is going to be smooth and it is going to be showing up um, people for who they are. So um, that is going to be coming out. So we're going to be looking at the house. And when we look at the first house, the first house is the energy of the Eight of Swords where you're going to be going within yourself and you're going to be gaining a wisdom and knowledge about something. There could be some sort of a question, Five of Pentacles. And um, this is, could be something about your money. And you're going to be finding out something about your money. You're, you could be finding out that a, a an Aries person could either want money from you or is in some sort of a financial problem, whoever this Aries person is. So, okay. Um, and you're going to be getting some sort of a communication either from an Aries person or about an Aries person surrounding um, money. Okay. You have 55. So a lot of changes is going to be coming up. Um, so be aware of that. In your second house, um, you are dealing with um a pisces cancer or scorpion person for most of you it will be a cancer person that try to or you're going to be finding out that this cancer person have uh, um took you down a whole lot of money but this money is uh, definitely going to be returned to you okay um for some of you if your parents had died and they were pisces cancer or scorpion they're going to be returning a whole lot of money to you in the third house you're dealing with a sagittarian person you're going to be very very happy overcoming the sagittarian person it's like the sagittarian person was trying to create some sort of an illusion um surrounding you and your happiness you're going to be happily recognizing and finding out what a sagittarian person have done and you are going to be happily recognizing and seeing the truth of the Sagittarian person. This is um, a happiness and a joy, the Ten of Cups, that you're going to be overcoming this person. Now, the Sagittarian person could be a family member. Um, it could be a Leo, but it's coming up as a Sagittarian person. Whoever the Sagittarian person is, was a family member that has done you some sort of an injustice. And they are now caught, okay? Then when we look in your fourth house of the home, um, yes, you Capricorns, especially Capricorn women, 50, 50 years and older, you could be coming in some sort of a financial problem. Uh, a lot of you Capricorns who are married to a Capricorn woman, this uh, a Capricorn woman or a Taurus person could be in some sort of a financial hardship. But I'm seeing um, this could be um, men who are married to Taurus's um, women um, in the fourth house. So, where you're living with this person, um, you could find out that this uh, Taurus woman is in some sort of a financial problem. A tower moment is going to be coming down for some sort of a friendship, some sort of a abrupt ending of some sort of a friendship. Who is this friend and who is this person? We're going to be looking forward to find out. Uh, um, but some sort of a friendship is going to be coming to an abrupt end. You know? Now we're looking at the Four of Swords and the Four of Swords is Jupiter in Libran. Libran is about uh, juridicity system, the law and that sort of a thing. Yes. And I see it is going to be working out in your favor. This is what I've said to you, Capricorn, that whatever legal issues that you have is going to be working out in your favor. The law is going to be on your side, especially if you were treated unfairly and people have done you injustice. Then when we look at the seventh house, the energy of the Ace of Cups is in reverse. And why the Ace of Cups is in reverse, especially if you're dealing with a Libran and you're in a relationship with a Libran, you're standing the ground against this person, whoever this Libran is and whatever is going on. 
um, you know, the, the Ace of Cups for this person is in reverse because you recognize something about this person. So that was what I was saying is that you could be in a relationship with a Libran or um, an Aquarian, Gemini or Libran, and you're going to be finding out that this person did not speak the truth. And you're going to be standing your grounds against this person because it could be, obviously it's a relationship or if you're married, you're going to be finding out that um, someone was not being honest. Someone was being very dishonest to you. And especially if you are married and you are in a relationship for more than 10 years. All right. Seven of Swords deceptiveness. So we did see the heartbreak and the deceptiveness is going to be affecting the eight house. The eight house is the house of... Uh, um, you know, connecting to the spiritual child, finding out something. There was some sort of a deceptiveness surrounding a whole lot of money. Now, whatever is going on um, in this house, this house is the house of the scorpion. So a lot of you could be coming in some sort of a problem, recognizing that a scorpion have to pay you a whole lot of money for some sort of a dishonesty that they have done. And they're going to be looking at a Sagittarian and a scorpion. Or a Sagittarian and a Scorpion. For some of you, it's a Sagittarian. For some of you, it's a Scorpion. But um, they're going to be finding out a whole lot of uh, dishonesty surrounding money, um, surrounding a Scorpion. So a lot of you Capricorns could be having to deal with that. The Seven of Swords is not very positive. It's about lies, deceptiveness. It's about frauding, documentation, and information. The Seven of Swords, okay? Then when we are looking, yes, they're going to be coming down and catching... Um, this man, it is in the ninth house. So this man is someone from another country. Whoever this man is from another country, it could be you Capricorn men between the age of 18 and 45. The law is going to be coming down on you. This is an upright position of the law coming down on Capricorn men between the age of 18 and 45, especially if you immigrated to a country, you're going to be having some sort of a legal problems Whoever this Virgo man is, the law has caught a Virgo man and recognized what a Virgo man was doing, okay? Whoever this Virgo man is, he is now in some sort of a serious problem because the law recognized that this Virgo man could have created some sort of a fraud, fraudulent situation. A judgment call is coming down on a cancer. If you are a Capricorn person over the age of 50 and a cancer is between the age of 18 and 45, they have now recognized what this young cancer have done. Okay, for some of you, it's a cancer. For most of you, it's going to be a cancer because it's in your house. It could be your child. It could be a young um, um, person, but this person is a Pisces cancer or scorpion. This person is coming up for most of you as a cancer person. The judgment call came down on this person because they recognize what this young person have done. They could have used your details and information and was profiting off you and your family. And they're now going to be recognizing what the family of this young cancer have done. This young cancer could have worked with a Virgo man and did some real dishonorable situation. And I see like a lot of organizations are going to be holding on, on these people, okay? So judgment is in your house, but you are pulling down the judgment or you're going to be having legal help to pull down the judgment on a young cancer. All right, we have the energy. I told you it was a cancer person. Um, We have the energy of the three of cups and this energy of the three of cups is no success um for um a situation um if there was some sort of a problem someone was open for some sort of a huge success over you capricorn but the 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 it's like the energy and the frequency has flipped so let's say that because this is in the house of uh, uh, the 11th house. So issues and situation in the 11th house is about Aquarian, it's about government, it's about uh, um, an institutional situation. Someone in an institution had created some sort of issues for you or was hoping that some sort of issues would have come up for you, but it flips, okay? It's as if the universe has stepped in and said, no, this is going to come to an end. What you people have done was very dishonest and it's like the universe come in and flip the coin on this situation okay so 
um, Capricorns who were dealing with family issues where your family was being harassed by another family. This is all going to be coming out because they're not going to be recognizing the truth. So, um, a lot of you are going to be getting some sort of offers, especially if you have been working out on karmatic issues and situation, um, at the end of the day, a lot of you are going to be get receiving an offer, but they're not going to be recognizing um, that you should have had this offer or this thing there, but a Virgo person was the one who intercept and take something, whoever this Virgo young lady is, is now in a whole lot of problems because they recognized that a Virgo young lady had access and took some sort of a data and information and got some sort of a offer and they're coming down on a Virgo young lady. I don't know if you're in a relationship with, with this person, but you seem to be um, clearing some sort of a karma with a Virgo person. So number 55 and the two of ones are very significant. The two of ones is about offers, opening and that sort of a thing. What is in your money house is that they're going to be recognizing um, that uh, your, you know, your family or your mother could have left you, if your mother was a Pisces, could have left you a whole lot of uh, money or um, assets and a Sagittarian person tried to um, take this money and, and take it and give it to a Leo. Now, they're not recognizing that the mother of this Leo that was saying that you were, you are connected with them is going to re recognizing that the mother is a Sagittarian. It is a family member. So a lot of you Capricorns is going to be finding out that a family member, whoever this family member is, uh, had created some sort of illusions and used their child and has used their child to manifest and did something. And it is all coming out because it's as if people are going back and they're looking at uh, um, a situation and it's now recognizing uh, the truth is coming out. Twice the energy of the Eggman. So there has been something that was uh, an illusion um, that was affecting your life, not knowing uh, um, that someone was creating this illusion behind the scenes. And for a lot of you um, Capricorns, it was a Sagittarian and their Leo child that created a lot of illusion could have used your name, information, data, and they have caught these people. And now the truth is coming out. Okay. So you're going to be finding out something also about a lot of money. Okay. This is our finding out something about work, but you're going to be very, very victorious Capricorns. Victory seems to be, it's as if you Capricorns has been going through a lot of uh, um, illusions, uh, things that was creating illusions in your life. And, um, you know, you work through all of the situation that came to you, that came and, and, and you, you had to work through a lot of stuff, but you are going to be very, very victorious in the month of uh, March. You're going to be leaving March on a very, very victorious note because you could be showing up people. You could be seeing the truth of the situation. You're going to be working on whatever the problems that is coming up for you. And you're going to be working through these problems and you're going to be moving on in a very, very positive way. A lot of you are going to be seeing the truth of things. You could be finding out something at work, but you're going to be very, very victorious because you're standing very strong and you're taking down um, the lion, the liars, the deceptors, and you're going to be winning. Jupiter is in Libra. So there was a lot of lies that was told surrounding you Capricorn. Someone makes up some sort of a story. And, and some of you Capricorn, you are going to be um, like receiving your dream car at the end of the month of March. A lot of you Capricorns, if you had hope and was dreaming for a specific car, you're going to, a lot of you Capricorns is going to be um, receiving that car. So if you had your mind, um, whether or not you should go, you will have the money and you can pay for this car. Go for it, okay? You're going to be st standing your grounds because of details and information. You're going to be recognizing lies. And you're going to be recognizing that so many people were lying. Like a lot of people were lying. 
you're going to be just looking at people and say, oh my God, how can you fucking live with yourself? You know, how do you live with yourself? But you're going to be recognizing that a lot of people were lying Capricorns. And this is all going to be coming out because you're going to be showing up people lies that they were saying. You know, you're going to be showing up that details documentation was copied. You're going to be showing up people, listen, that's a copy. I have the original, okay? So whatever is going on, you you have the details, you know what was going on, and you're going to be showing up because I think there is a, 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 a someone that is looking over you. A lot of you Capricorns are going to be having um, a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of help because it's, 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 it's as if someone is not going to be recognizing, you know, this person has been speaking the truth. This person has been speaking the truth. Okay. And a lot of people are now going to be checking the details and facts. So, so I see heartbreak, heartbreaks, um, is going to be coming up for a young woman. Um, if you are a Capricorn woman and you are in a relationship with, um, a Aries V or a Sagittarian person, or breaks is going to be coming up for you. Um, so if you're between the age of 18 and 45, uh, 50, 18 and, and 50, and you're in a relationship with a Aries V or a Sagittarian man, heartbreaks for you and this person, this relationship as is going to come to an end. Um, you're now recognizing that there is no ground. And if you were married to this person or you were thinking about marrying this person, some of you Capricorn, you could have been with this person. This person is an Aries or Sagittarian. You wanted to get married to this person. This person has no, um, uh, they have no thing there of getting married to you. Okay. So this person could have sold you a false dream. Okay. So a lot of you young Capricorn women, because you're here in the reverse, so. Um, you, and if you were in a relationship with a, a, here is the Sagittarian person, this person have sold you a false dream, Capricorn. And, um, whatever this issue and the situation is with this person, they have definitely sold you Capricorn a false dream. So this person, if they say they were going to marry to you, you're going to recognize, no, they're not, you know, they were just in it for something all right let's check out and see in your first out you're going to be finding out something about money yes some sort of a news is going to be coming in and you're going to be finding out um something about an aries or a pisces person um or some sort of a news from another place there's something about an aries an aries could be having a financial problem if this is your sister a family or a relative all right, so they're now recognizing, and this was what I was saying to you, Capricorns. Um, it is it came out in the reverse, but it is matching what is in your second house. Now, your second house, they're not going to be recognizing because a cancer have to pay you Capricorns a whole lot of money back. Okay, because you it's come out in the reverse because also this cancer was in the reverse. This cancer have to pay you a whole lot of money back. And this is how it is, said the reverse. Now, this cancer could have applied for money in your name, or this cancer could have done you something from the past. And the universe is coming back and said, listen, cancer, you have to return or pay this person for damage that was done to this person, okay? So it has to do with something between you and a cancer, I don't know who this person is, but this person could have collected a whole lot of money because it's in your your house of money. Whatever luck the Sagittarian um, was open for, their luck has run out. Remember, in your third house, there's a Sagittarian young lady, um, a Sagittarian and a Leo. Some of you who had issue with a Sagittarian and a Leo, their luck has now run out. In the month of March, their luck has now run out. This was a family member or someone who created some sort of an issue their luck has now run out okay um when we look in the fourth house the fourth house you are dealing with a uh, a friend um a friend is going to ask you for money or a friend is going to ask you for a place to stay a friend is coming to you kind of wants money from you and you you know it is a situation i would say to you give someone a place to live 
um, but don't lend out money to friends. Okay. There's something about you and a friend and it has to be do in your fourth house. And it could be that this person wants you to share, um, um, a house with them or wants you, but, or this person could be living with you, but it's financially draining you at the, uh, the same time. So be aware of whoever is living with you or wants to live with you or, but it has it's, it's something in your fourth house. So, but this friend is, uh, is draining you of your financial, um, because of something to do in the fourth house. And this was what I was saying. Some of you could be um, some sort of a work or construction in your fourth house. Um, a situation is now finally going to be ending because peace, um, you are going to be choosing peace with a relationship. It's as if um, the five house is the house of pleasure, relationship, friendship. You're going to be seeing the truth and see through the illusion of a kind of false friendship that you have. And you're going to be letting it go because you're going to be choosing peace. Okay. And you're going to be let something rest because you're choosing peace, turning your back and walking away. This is what I say. A Virgo and a Taurus was looking for some sort of an opportunity or some sort of offer. If you had a legal issue against a Virgo or a, a Virgo that you work with or a Taurus that you work with, you're going to be winning and winning big. There is no win for a Sagittarian person. They now recognize what a Sagittarian and a Virgo person have done. A Sagittarian and a Virgo person at work together with you in order to work against you. Now, there is a lot of emotional situation that is going to be coming up for a Leo and a Virgo and a uh, Libran um, when it comes up to love. Um, this is very emotional because this is in the house of marriage. So a lot of marriage people are going to be having emotional imbalance within your marriage. Okay. The, the, the ace of cups is in reverse when it comes on to marriage, because a lot of you Capricorns are going to be standing your ground, especially if you are married or you're in a relationship for more than 10 years, you're going to be standing your ground. All right. The truth came out about a lot of deceptiveness. The energy of the sun is here in the reverse. There was a lot of deceptiveness. The seven of swords, the six of pentacles about a whole lot of money surrounding a scorpion. So I don't know if the scorpion is a family member or a child or whoever the scorpion is. It's in the house of the scorpion, the six of pentacles in the reverse. If you are going to be finding out that a scorpion had lied about a whole lot of money because the truth is going to be coming out, there are going to be there is something coming up about you and a scorpion surrounded a whole lot of money where the scorpion could have lied and uh, took a whole lot of money or created some sort of an illusion in order to get a whole lot of money from out of you Capricorns. And it is going to be coming out, whether it's your husband, whether it's your partner, whoever this scorpion is, uh, whether it's a family member, um, someone who's a random scorpion, it could have someone who uh, tricked you out of a whole lot of money or tried to get a whole lot of money out of you. And they're going to be recognizing that if you um, had lost a whole lot of money, it has to do with a scorpion and the truth is going to be coming out. They're going to be recognizing deceptiveness surrounding a scorpion and what a scorpion has done. The truth is going to be coming out. So a Virgo man, whoever this Virgo man is, but some of you is a Virgo man. A Virgo man was uh, um, a fraud there or created some sort of a fraud documentation and was trying to get something or add created some sort of a fraud documentation and gave to someone and they caught this Virgo man and know that this Virgo man was the one and they now recognize how this Virgo man had gotten some sort of a new start. They're now gaining knowledge. I see the law came down on a Virgo man. So it could be that some of you have a relationship with a Virgo man. It can be a Virgo man, but it can be someone who was born in another country. This is a foreign person. They recognize that this person is a liar. They recognize that their documentation and information is not based on facts. They are gaining information about this man and how this man and his children, how this man got a new start, who this man is and how he came in a country on the false information data, that sort of a thing, how this man was creating illegal documentation, giving visas, documentation and, and papers underneath the table. They caught this Virgo man, the law caught this Virgo man and shut it down. Okay. 
um, this is a serious case because this has to do with international um, traveling and foreign things and they're going to be recognizing what this Virgo man has done so they're going to be recognizing that a young cancer is really deceptive this young cancer is mentally disturbed this young cancer is a nasty piece of work the energy of the snake okay a lot of you could be finding out that if you are in a relationship or a young cancer at the workplace is a very disturbed person very nasty very dishonest very evil this young cancer and a judgment call came down on this person they finally found out who this person is this person could have worked with a virgo to manipulate it some sort of a situation has to do with international things um driver's license documentation paperwork uh, false documentation lies and deceptiveness corruptcy and they finally caught this cancer they is like a lot of people are like how could this uh, has gone down without us seeing the situation a lot of you capricorns are going to be fine a young cancer or find a young Pisces cancer or scorpion you're going to be seeing how really nasty this person is um, a lot of you this is in career tent house um, this has to do with something it could be someone who you recognize this was a malicious person and this is uh, coming up for most of you as a cancer person but it could, could also be a Pisces cancer or scorpion you got to be aware because something um, Capricorn, someone pull a nasty one on you. This is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person, and the judgment call is going to be coming down on them. And you're going to be standing back and looking at this person and think, I knew what you were up to, but okay. The universe always step in. Always step in. You're going to be seeing the two face of this person. A nasty person this person is just malicious jealous dishonest but a huge judgment call this is someone who is much younger than you are and you're going to be recognizing this and it's like the universe is just going to be stepping in and said you know you have done enough um you're just a malicious person and this person is going to be really falling on their faces so I don't know who you're dealing with. For most of you, it's going to be a cancer. But for the rest of you, it can be a cancer, a, a, a Pisces cancer, or a scorpion person, whether it's a man or a woman. But a judgment call is going to be coming down on this person because it's like this person was laughing at one side with you and on the other side, as you know, they were like, Ehh! you know, and it's like you Capricorn know, but you just play the game because Capricorns, you're more diplomatic you're one of the most diplomatic person in a sign but you you know the shit what was going on and you just look at them as if mm, you know so in love um that that the, the the three of cups um this is a situation um whatever is going on i see you are not going to be working on a relationship you're just going to be thinking you know um the eight of pentacles uh, is in the 11th house now 11th house you know if you had an affair or that sort of a thing it's like you're going to be letting go you know it's it's not fulfilling um yeah you're going to you're going to be thinking no uh you know i'm not going to put enough energy in this uh situation you no longer wants to work on this uh, uh situation it, it's as if it's, it's it's um it's draining it's not fulfilling um you don't want to play the games and you're just sitting back and just letting people um play their own games is is you see the energy of this is the lovers there's no success it's like someone was trying to ruin you or someone was trying to pull you down to their level and you're like no 
you know, I'm the old boss over my life, okay? I don't need anyone to dictate anything to me. I don't want to be in a dictative relationship. I don't want, but it's as if this person was playing a game, um, a malicious um, game, and you're like, I'm smooth, I'm cool, I'm a smooth operator. I don't, I don't want to be manipulated. I don't want to tell what to do I'm you know it's like you're pulling back from someone because you're not working on it it's like you're thinking um no I've seen better than this and I'm really not going to be getting involved and playing uh, these mind games or playing this sort of a situation so someone was trying to you know like pulling you down to their level but there is no success for this person it's like someone was really playing and wanted to bring you in bring you in and kind of uh, have this sort of a, a third party or whatever and you're like fuck you i'm not i'm i'm not a third party type you know it, it's like you're you're looking at people you're thinking look at me i don't share anything i don't want to be in a third party situation you know you let it go you know, I'm not that desperate. And, you know, someone is going to be recognizing, you know, I can't play this person. This person, they know what they're all about and they know what they want. And you're just going to be, you know, because this person was trying to pull you in a situation and you're like, no, I'm number one. And um, if you can't accept that, then I don't do third parties. Move on. You know, you're like, are you crazy? you know, look at me good. I don't do third parties, you know? So Capricorns, you know, it's going to be a month where you're taking back your power. So they're going to be blocking a Virgo person because they recognize that a Virgo person had access some sort of a documentation or details. And this Virgo person is actually caught because they recognize somehow in the past, they recognize what this Virgo person has done. And they're going to be shutting down something and some sort of application that Virgo person. So this Virgo person could have applied for some sort of information or data or access some sort of information or data. They're going to be blocking a Virgo person. This is a Virgo person that some of you, it's a woman between the age of 18 and 45 that some of you have had some sort of a, a concept with or whatever, you know, it could have been this person also was having some sort of a connection and wanted to have someone on the side, whoever this person is, this young Virgo person. And you're like, um, you know, go to that person, um, move on, you know. So it's, it's, it's for some of you, because it's right beside um, the energy of uh, um, this lover. And if you notice, uh, there is no success for this person because you Capricorn is like, listen, you want to treat some or you want a third party? Move on with your third party. Release me out of the situation. I don't want to be, you know, have some bloody respect for me. So this person is no success because this person and whoever this young Virgo person is, it's like you Capricorn know this young Virgo person and they just thought that they were slick and you're looking as if, you know, move on. Uh, you know, don't get me in your three party situation. Are you people crazy? Are you bloody sick or something? Do you, do you, you know, and you, you Capricorns are like, so I see that, you know, this person is going to recognize, you know, Capricorn is really serious. So, um, the, you know, whatever you are letting it go, Capricorn, you're like, Hey, move on. I don't need that sort of a situation in my life. And the thing about it is this man is an older man and you could be in this relationship with this older man. And this young Virgo, um, because this young Virgo is a nasty piece of work. And this man is looking at this young Virgo thinking, and this it's going to be blocked because the universe is going to be stepping in and blocking it. So there's no success for this man. Whoever this man is, is coming up as it's in the house of a, the Aquarian and a young Virgo who thought they could they have their fling and whatever. And you found out about it and said, listen, I don't do three parties. So move the fuck on to the third party. Bye. Move off of this bus stop because I don't do three parties. You know, some people can be just so disrespectful. So here they're looking at each other and recognize this shit not going to be working out. Because you see, it's as if you saw something and you 
you you you really stand up and say, listen to me. I don't know what you and that little girl have, but you back the fuck up out of my life because I don't need you and your little bullshit and this little nasty piece of work that you people are doing because this child is half your age and could be your child. And you're going to be standing up and looking at this person and think, what the fuck? Do you think that I'm, I'm a three person, I'm a third party? I move on, move on with that little piece of work. And, you know, you're just going to shut it down. I do love you guys. Namaste until next time.